So for a food like Good Planet, how are you balancing getting the product out there, but also educating people on the importance of it? Because it kind of seems like that could just be two companies of showing like, why does this matter? And I'm sure you might even have stats from working in the dairy industry before, of like, why does this matter? And also we have a good product, like which one, I'm sure you let the product win, but like, how do you get the word out there to people, especially who are not vegan and be like, not only should you try this because our products are excellent, but like, here's the reason. How do you balance those two initiatives? I really am a believer, regardless of the brand, that when you're first launching, which we still are, even though, you know, the business has been around, we're still clearly just launching this brand to the huge majority of consumers. You have to introduce yourself first. You can't go in and, and start at a, at a dinner party. You can't go in there and start spilling all kinds of facts about yourself before anyone understands who are you, why are you here, why did you come up to me or whatever, you know, like you, you have to first just introduce, this is who I am, this is why I'm here at this party and move forward. And there's other mediums we have like social media where we can and do go deeper. You've been very ambitious to go in there and carry the flag from day one for the whole plant-based cheese segment or category and try to educate consumers before you've really established your brand. So there is a balance, but at the very beginning, you do have to introduce yourself as a, as a brand. I mean, I see a lot of founders, it seems like they kind of get caught up in that dilemma of having maybe a big mission or, you know, this is for social good and a good product and trying to do both at once from the very start, focusing on too many things, maybe isn't always the best idea, but I always wonder about that of like, how do you choose which one to do first? I don't want to say the product is the mission, but the product is the unlock to the mission. Cheese is a category where consumers are very demanding. They get real joy from cheese. Cheese is often the star of the show. In contrast to milk, for example, where milk is often more of a supporting player. And most people wouldn't say they get joy from milk. So with that in mind, you're not going to be able to achieve a lofty goal around the planet or healthier consumers, et cetera, without a great product that makes it easy for them to make those choices. I, I really don't see it as mutually exclusive. I think as we're launching these innovations that give consumers new ways to enjoy the product, we're going to be growing the brand. We're going to be growing the category, but we will be also delivering on that mission, even if that's not the main communication point as we're going out, we're going to be delivering on that by making it easy for consumers, flexitarians like David was talking about to, to flex towards plant-based instead oh, of flexitarians. away Flexitarians. How are you, maybe David, going about finding these flexitarians? Like what are the channels right now that you're finding most successful? Like how are you getting people to even try something like this for the first time? Yeah, you know, that's one of the, the things we're struggling with right now. I think a year, a year and a half ago or a year ago, plant-based was getting so much attention that everybody was moving towards it. But in our category specifically, there was a ton of launches in the, in the plant-based cheese. Everybody wanted to get in it because it's a huge category. It's growing. And there are companies that already had a similar production that they could shift over to plant-based. But they did it without care. Right? They just did it to get in the business, create a product. So a lot of this got on the shelf and price points were lower than, for instance, us or one of our stronger competitors that has great products. And they put on the shelf, you know, cheap, not so great products. And I think the consumers that were wanting or considering making that shift for the balance for the planet or, or for their health got some bad experiences and said, wow, if this is what plant-based cheese tastes like, I'm not buying it. I think now we're, we're having to go out and figure out how one pitch the buyers to let them understand that they have to offer. And it's not, you don't just offer one brand. You don't go to any category and they're not just one cereal, right? It's not just grape nuts and nothing else. There has to be options and people have different reasons for buying things. And I, the buyers now have to understand they got to put something quality on the shelf. They're going to grow the category, give the consumer the experience they're looking for. There's a dilemma and that's what we're trying to figure out now how we accept that challenge and, and win it. Hey, thanks for watching. This segment was made possible by our friends at Salesforce Commerce Cloud. 
If you're looking for the number one platform for all your commerce needs, go check out salesforce.com slash commerce. And don't forget to subscribe below and tap that little bell icon so you can stay on top of all the amazing new segments and full episodes that we'll be putting out over the coming year with some of the best and most influential commerce leaders out there.